hey my loves welcome to my official room tour new here my name is Esther Kumibi and today I'm going to be showing you guys my room I live in Nigeria Benin to be precise so I'm a Benin based youtuber and I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this room on a budget you guys I did not cut the bank and I did not break the bank and I did not borrow money from anywhere okay I'm going to show you guys how I worked hand in hand with what I had already and what just little things i needed to buy to get this to work so this room also serves as my filming studio so i'm going to check you guys through every single thing that i did here to achieve this look that is right behind me okay so if that sounds like something that you might be interested in then do keep on watching <music> Now, I do want to point out the fact that I live with my parents, so this is like already a family house. So, some of the things that I naturally already have at home, I did not need to buy, okay? But if you are just moving into somewhere on your own, okay, you might need to buy some of these things. And uh, before I get up from this chair and start carrying the camera to move around, I want to start by showing you guys my floors. So, I know that I did not want that normal granite floors, I had that normal old granite stone floors that was not aesthetically pleasing at all if you're moving to a place that has tiles already then that's awesome but i didn't have tiles and i went at something and I had to get this um wooden like carpet it's 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 foldable but it's really thick it's thick but it's not stiff okay like an actual wood will look like but it's made of wood okay let me you guys can see this it's wooden like and it's so pretty on the floor and i really really loved it when i saw it i knew that i had to get it okay it's really really pretty and when it's on the floor you don't even see the difference this is the extras okay when it's on the floor you don't even notice that this is a carpet and not a wooden floor Okay, so I'll just show you guys the rest of the room. <laughs> okay. But this is the exact, the exact kind of floor it had. These were the old floors. So now you can better appreciate the difference in my carpet, how they look like now, okay? And I even got a rug, but this rug, I did not need to buy it. I already had this rug at home, and we stopped using it. It was like a center rug. I just brought it to the room, and I used it to put my bed stand on top of it because my bed stand is pretty heavy, and I did not want that to injure my carpet, so I had to use this rug as some sort of buffer for it. This carpet, in total, the carpets need, needed to carpet this entire room all the floors costs twenty dollars okay it costs twenty dollars that is like roughly over ten thousand era like this is how the walls looked like before they were so yellowish old and dirty and i had to have them painted because i did not want the walls to look like this this is not aesthetically pleasing at all so we're even old and peeling already because it's quite a whole an old house okay so i had to have this fixed then for how the walls look right now i don't have so much wall space to show you guys like i got this wall painted i knew i had to paint these walls white okay because white is just so pretty and so aesthetically pleasing compared to the yellow walls i had before so i had to buy white paint and a bucket of white i used just i think two buckets under two buckets to get these walls looking so white and so beautiful and two buckets of paint cost not more than ten dollars okay it cost just ten dollars so paint this entire room's walls all four corners it was that cheap and inexpensive i did not need to break my bank it was so cheap next is the furnitures in the room okay so this room came with some furniture already basically where they had this wooden cupboard it's so looking so old and ugly but to me it's still so pretty where they had this already so i did not need to buy this and but for this particular furniture we had this 
um, shelf already is a very old shelf this shelf is older than me okay my mom had this shelf even before i was born and it was brown a very dirty and old brown it was so freaking old this shelf has paid its dues that's lasted a whole lot of time okay but it was brown and dirty and old so i had to paint it white it was really brown before and really ugly looking but i painted this white to suit the aesthetics of the room okay and it's looking so pretty now and i have to buy white paint and it costs under five dollars this other shelf was dirty old brown ugly in fact we have thrown this shelf away we have thrown this shelf outside but i'm the only one who saw the potential of this shelf and decided to paint it white as well i used a paint that was remaining from using painting the walls to paint this shelf and i got this shelf white looking i got this um other one white looking okay all of that with the same paint so i would say that the painting i use on this room cost not more than $15 the $10 of the walls and the $5 that I used for the shelves I also painted this table white with the remaining paint that I, that was left from the walls okay the paint was quite much I, but you can see that it's already getting dirty because I use this table a lot flowers okay i got flowers for the room because i wanted something aesthetically looking and pleasing and beautiful okay so i got this flower so i'm a fake plant mom basically i own fake plants and i got this white flower and this was so cheap so funny thing i already had this flower stand already at home i think i have I had some of these things at home already. I already had this flower stand at home. I just got white flowers to put on them. It's beautiful. They had green flowers on them before. They had green flowers and those green flowers, I just used them to make funny, bold looking plants like this. So they had green flowers on them and I removed the green flowers and put white. Then use the green flowers to make flower bowls like this to put on my shelf. Okay? Then there's a smaller plant over here, her name is Aurora and she's just as beautiful and just as loved by me. You can, you can put anything in your room to make it look beautiful as long as it matches with the aesthetics of your room. I was going for a white and brown vibe and I think to a certain extent I got that. This gold thing, I already had it, I did not need to buy this. I already had this, I did not need to buy it. So I was just so lying somewhere in there. I was going to using it again, I just brought it to this room and made use of it. These snails. A plate of snail shells. I don't know if you guys can see this. A plate of snail shells. They're looking so old and so beautiful. We had thrown them away. Basically, we were, at some point we were rearing snails, but it turned out to be a boss. Okay, it didn't work out, and the snails died. And we threw away their shells. But then I saw them one day, and I knew that they had potential. I just knew. Okay, and I put them into this. A black thing that I got from a perfume box and yeah it works I put my novels over here I don't know if you guys can see this I put my novels over here because I used to read a whole lot of novels before when I was much younger but now I'm ready to read novels on my phone I did this gift card when I was in secondary school for my exam for my project okay I did this card when I was much younger and I didn't want to throw them away I didn't want to throw it away so i decided to keep it here and i opened it up because the black would not have fit the aesthetics of my room but the inside would have so i put it there and i made these posters you guys you'll be able to see posters everywhere in my room i made this posters because i got these posters from pinterest and i decided to gum them to cartons i diy these things by myself i decided to gum them to cartons i just cut cartons to the side because i got these pictures from pinterest I went out to print these pictures in colored formats and then I came back home, I got all the cartons in my house and I cut them up into the size of the pictures. I stapled them together or gummed some and then placed them everywhere in my room. So these are some, they are just everywhere in the room. They are everywhere literally. This is another one. They are looking so beautiful, they are everywhere, okay? 
I just really love them. This is another one. They are everywhere, you guys. This guitar, I've had this since forever, and I never really learned how to play. But then I really wanted to learn how to play, but there was nobody to teach me. So I still have the guitar, and I just become part of the aesthetics of the room because it is brown, my favorite color, okay? You can see my brown hat over here. Basically, we had this hat. So my father is a farmer at heart, okay? So we, had, we once had a farm, and we had this hat to prevent sunburn from occurring on our bodies. So we we got this hat and it fit the room because I just had to put it here and I got this for free. No money whatsoever. This fan as well. I already had this out. So in Nigeria, you know Nigeria is pretty hot and sometimes there is no light. So we have both heat and lack of light. So sometimes you have to find yourself like right now that I am sweating. So terribly okay. So this fan serves a dual purpose. It serves to um, you know bring in some air, bring in some fresh air, and then it's also aesthetically pleasing because it fits the design of the room. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this back. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just wait. I'm coming. <laughs> This section of the room is basically where I put my bags, my skincare items, my laptops, my notebooks, my heavy equipment like a hammer. Okay, that's where I put in this shelf. This shelf is like the most functional shelf that I have. Okay, so over here is where I put my skincare products and I have another picture here made by me that says self-care. Okay, made by me. just how much I love my bed okay so I got this white to base set these white pillows it has white pillows over here and the white bed sheets underneath from the my local store and I got this piece for ten dollars okay and if you want to get on that color that is not white it's even cheaper okay so the fact that it's white is what even makes it more expensive and i knew that i needed white i just needed white for this room basically because this is a filming studio for me as well so it had to be aesthetically pleasing because i really really liked white these brown pillows i had to get materials by myself and sew them into these pillows and they are so freaking soft like this pillow is like it's squeezable but when you put your head on it oh my god <laughs> oh my god this is so so it's it makes sleeping so much fun and so much easier like this is it's like a teddy bear it's way 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 soft okay and i was so glad that i got this I already had the pillows at home. These are things I already had. But I do not have the white pillows at home. They are so much more bigger. Let me show you guys. They are so much more bigger. I didn't have these at home. I had to buy these for five dollars. Okay? And yeah. I forgot to tell you guys about my light fixture. I got this paper thing that helps give my light a pink glow and it matches with the pink of my curtains over there, the pink in my flowers as well. And I got that for one dollar. Okay, this is so cheap, it's also so inexpensive. And yeah, with that, we have come to the end of my room. So I hope you guys liked this video. I had fun filming this. My favorite things in the room is basically like everything okay because i did this myself and i enjoyed every single part of it the guitar the my flower lily the carpets the rug the bed sheets the bed my posters i did myself okay if there was light this thing would have been shining white these are um christmas lights they shine white which just flows with the aesthetics of the room as well the bed sheets the duvet
you guys liked this video i know it was quite short but i hope you guys liked this video if you did please leave me a comment down below and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel up to this point if you've watched up to this point and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel and please share this video to others and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye bye Come on, come on, my video. 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 Come on, my the wrong way <coughs> <coughs> so coming to the next session of this room we have the very